In this video, I'm going to show examples of regular expressions in Python. I'll also show you how to build a clone of a popular Unix tool called grep in nine lines of Python source code. Ahead of time, I've set up a file here. It's just a very simple CSV file with some kind of random data. Here you can see a listing of made up products with some made up model numbers here. Now, if you assume this CSV file was say many hundreds or thousands of lines, you might occasionally want to search for specific patterns of text within this file. For example, you might want to extract all lines of text in this file that start with any letter and then are followed by N0. You can already do this in Linux with a program called grep. For example, you can type this regex and we'll do a search on example data. And now we've found every line in this file that matches the pattern that we described. But since this video is about Python scripting, let's try and re-implement grep using Python. Let's go ahead and name our script to one.py since it's our first Python script. What we'll do is we'll start by just making a really simple Python script that does nothing but print out each line. So this starting point for our Python script is not too complicated. All it's going to do is accept things from standard in. So anything you pipe into the script will be printed out one line at a time as it comes in. And we need to import sys. Okay, let's go ahead and try and run this and see what happens. So if we type cat and we pipe that into Python. Okay, this looks pretty close. It looks like it's putting an extra new line after every line in the file though. So if we look at the original file, so yeah, there's no extra new line. And when we put it into this, there's an extra new line that we don't quite want. And to fix that, we can just change that print statement to sys.stdout.write. And this will avoid the extra new line. All right, that looks good. So what we've got here is just a simple Python script that can actually read in each line of the file and it doesn't do anything with it at the moment. And our eventual goal is to make this work just like the grep command. So what we'll do is for every line of text that we process, just before writing it out, we'll check to make sure it matches a regex pattern, just like the one we used in the previous example. So when we used grep, we were using this regex pattern to search for any line of text that contains one character followed by n and zero. So if we go ahead and just use that exact same regular expression, so there's our regular expression. And before we can actually use it for searching, we need to compile it. And then on each line, we can check to see if there are any matches for that regular expression in this line. And because we're using the RE regular expression module, we need to import that. Okay, let's go ahead and try and run this. So anything that comes in on standard in that we pipe into this Python script, we'll take the pattern that we used before, compile that pattern, and we'll run the regular expression search on that line. And if there are any matches, this will return true and we'll write out that line. So for comparison, this is our grep statement. And when we run our Python script again, we should hopefully get the same result. And look at that, we get the same four matches. So we don't have the highlighting of the match here, but the results that we get are basically the same. In eight lines of Python code, we have basically implemented a hard-coded version of grep. Now, one problem with this is that the regular expression pattern is hard-coded right in this file. So this is not a very good alternative to grep because you have to come in here and edit this regular expression every time. But what we can do is go ahead and copy that. And then we can actually make the regular expression an argument to this script. So this expression here will just take the first argument that gets passed to the script. We don't use uh, zero because that's the name of the script. So now when we run this, we just use the regular expression as the first argument. And look at that, we get the same result. So now if we want, we can change this to match different kinds of patterns. So for example, we could search for any line that contains either shoes or sneakers. And look at that. And let's go ahead and compare that with what grep does. So in this case, we need to escape some characters because of the regular expression syntax that grep uses. All right, that looks the same to me. Okay, if we think back to the example with searching for parts of the model numbers, another common task would be to extract any of the model numbers that match these patterns. 
So with grep, you can search for an abstract model number that matches this pattern. And with grep, you can use the dash O flag, which will only print out the matched part of the text. However, in this case, we're only getting the first few letters of the model number. So let's go ahead and make this pattern match the entire model number so that we can extract that. So let's go ahead and match everything up to the comma character. And we can do that by making a character class and saying anything that is not comma uh, and repeated any number of times. Okay, that looks like it worked. So we've now got grep to print out only the model numbers that match the specific pattern. Now for the second example, let's go ahead and think about how we can modify our Python script to replicate the behavior of the dash O flag with grep. So let's go ahead and copy our first example to 2.py. And let's go ahead to make sure that this regex that we used with grep also works with our Python script. Okay, it still finds those lines, but what we wanna do is modify this to only print out the matched part. So what we can do to extract the match part of the text is use what's called a group. And this is where we put parentheses around some part of the regular expression. And then later in the Python code, there is a feature of the regular expressions module that lets you extract only the matched part of the text. So instead of just telling you whether there is a match or not, you can actually find out what the match is and extract it. Or if there's multiple matches, you can extract all of them. In general, if you have a much larger regular expression, you can write multiple subgroups. And whenever you refer to the subgroups, you just refer to them by the order in which they appear. So this would be the first subgroup, and this would be the second subgroup. Now, because we want to automatically print out the match, let's not actually add the parentheses out here on the command line. Let's do it as a mandatory feature of every regular expression that we put into this. So as we said before, whatever the first argument is, we're going to treat that as our regular expression. And no matter what, we're just going to take that regular expression and then wrap it in parentheses so that it becomes part of a group. And now we can change our code slightly to remember what was actually matched. So we'll take the result of the regular expression search, we'll put it into the variable m, and we'll say if m evaluates the true, then we want to write out something, but we don't want to write the entire line anymore. We now want to write m.group1. And because our regular expression is always going to start with this grouping here that gets closed over here, it's always going to be group one. So whatever we put in here as a regular expression, if there is a match, m.group1 is going to be this matched part here. Whatever regular expression pattern we put here, that is going to be referenced right here when we grab the first argument and then wrapped in parentheses to become the first group. So let's go ahead and try this and see what it does. Okay, that's kind of what we wanted, but there's no new lines here. So let's go ahead and update our script. And let's just add a new line. Okay, that looks a bit better. So now we've got the script to print out every matched part of the text every time we find a line in the file that matches this regular expression pattern. And let's just try that again using grep. So here's those same examples with grep. And that looks good to me. So once again, we've implemented a very specific use case of grep in Python using nine lines of code.